Wow, that side of Karoli. Mapenzi Kizungu Zungu. That's a famous song in Tanzania. Karali Pumpa. She's from Bokoba, Northwestern Tanzania. Bukopo. Yeah, salama, salama. Unauza nini? Naomba interview tafadhali. Ah, kidogo, kidogo. Kwa sababu leo ninatangaza taifa letu. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm joining you live in Mbagala. Mbagala is an important uh, town here in Dar es Salaam and you may want to visit here for the purposes if you're planning on traveling to southern Tanzania. For example, if you're going to Kilwa Kisiwani, if you're going to the Lindi region, Mtawara and other places, you can get coaches or intercity bus right here in Mbagala. So I'll just explore the area, give you a local flavor of the place so you get an idea of what it's like. But the most important reason why maybe foreigners may visit this side of town is to get the coaches or intercity bus to southern Tanzania. And do visit those areas when you visit Tanzania. So if you're new to the channel, I'll appreciate it if you can consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni Tanzania, Karibuni Mbagala. Okay, we're live here in Mbagala. So I'm just gonna walk around, give you a little local flavor of the place. It's evening time here in Mbagala, but business is definitely booming and it's a good vibe. So down that side is where you will get the buses to um, southern Tanzania like Lindi, Kilwa, Kisiwani. If you're planning on visiting some of the ruins and different things like that in Kilwa, Kisiwani and other places, you can get the buses from here. A reputable company which travel to the southern region of Tanzania is a company called Mashallah. Mashallah. And they have offices here in Mbagala right at the bus stand so you definitely check them out when you if you plan to visit the southern region of tanzania so we're going in deep guys it's evening time here but you can see the place is still busy a lot of people are still doing business right now so in Mbagala you can pretty much get anything from phone chargers to clothing agricultural pro produce many different things can be purchased in this area here in Mbagala so you'll be seeing that as we tour the area right now Oh And you'll find a lot of these uh, roadside stalls, they come out more during the evening time to sell their various products in the area. The place is definitely very busy here this evening. Thank 
So you're hearing it. Offer, offer, karibuni sana. Offer, offer, karibuni sana. These are some of the sounds you will hear when you're walking through these parts here as people advertise their various products while they sell. Let me know in the comment section if it's like that in your part of the world. How is business like? where you are right now does it remind you of what you're seeing here live in Dar es Salaam Mbagala Tanzania So these are all different types of fish you're seeing right here. Some people will come and buy and they'll they can get it fried here or they can go to their homes respectively and and fry there <laughs> wow businesses booming this evening place is still busy So the shopping area in Mbagala is definitely huge. 
and even right down on the main road and on the high street there you will see many stalls there mambo vipi ukapoa eh salama salama unauza nini naomba interview tafadhali ah kidogo kidogo kwa sababu leo ninatangaza taifa letu Eh yeah, hapa Tanzania. Yes. Yeah. Unatangaza yeah. kuhusu nini? Eh yeah. unaitwa nani? Safe. Enaitwa? Safe, safe. Safe, yeah? yeah. Ah, sawa. So, so unauza unauza nini leo? Nauza hapa, nauza Nestle Soxy. Oh, ne oh, okay, sawa. Chandarua? Chandarua, yes. Chandarua, mashallah, mashallah. Asante sana kuongea. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sawa. Kwa so there's a lot of fruits here guys I'm seeing mangoes I'm seeing oranges Mambo vipi sir So we just came to the end of that section of the market here in Mbagala and you can see this side you can also get various Dala Dala buses as well. These are the Dala Dala buses. Salaam Alaikum Sheikh. And these Dala Dala buses are specifically for going various areas in the city of Tanzania. Of Dar Salaam to be specific. So these are what the local people will be getting. That's the Dala Dala buses. So let's walk back this way. So this is one of the features you will see in some areas here in Dar es Salaam, especially during the evening times, a lot of traffic. So this is one of the things you'll have to be prefer prepared for when you, if you're traveling various parts of the city in Dar es Salaam, there are uh, traffic congestion sometimes however the government is working towards to ease the traffic congestion but you still experience the traffic congestion in some areas like where we are right now So this one is like here right now.
So this is going to be a bus terminal that's been built. And this will be helping to link the uh, other buses to the city. I did a, a video on the uh, new bus system that they're creating here in Dar es Salaam. It's been running for a few years and they are expanding it throughout the city. So this will be a station where some of those buses will be coming to. That's the rapid transit system and the color of those buses are blue. So look out for that. Now it might look chaotic to some of you watching, but believe you me, when you're in it and you live here for a certain period of time, people have developed an intricate ways to make order out of this chaos. People know where they go to buy certain things, they know where they get their buses from, and everything runs smoothly, almost problem free most of the time. Now across the street, this is uh, another section of the market here in Mbagala and it has a lot of the, you can get a lot of various clothing here. So we're going to check it out right now. After this Dalla Dalla bus pass, we'll go down there. Okay guys, we're going in deep. So you can hear people have the speakers on and they're promoting their business. You got all kind of people passing here. People are walking, and then you got the bajajis and the motorbike taxis trying to make their way through. Over there, you could get your waist beads and and all of that for the ladies. Thank you. 
So you can see Imbagala definitely has a lot of these small businesses going on and literally if I continue on this road it's rows, rows, rows of shops located here in this area. So you can see guys, it's already getting into the dark. It's getting dark and business is busy more than ever. These are the roadside stores here, live in Mbagala. You can see people put the lights out. People got the lights out and they're doing business. This is how it goes out here in the city, guys. fruits and vegetables, bananas, bath soaps, perfumes, you can, you can get everything here in Mbagala guys, everything. A lot of people have finished work. So you get people coming home, people coming out to buy some things, maybe for supper and all of that. Good vibes out here in Imbagala. Local flavor, but it's lively, really lively out here. Let me know if you want to experience something like this if you come to Tanzania. And if you're from Tanzania, let me know what do you think of, of what you're seeing here right now. Bananas going for like a hundred Tanzanian shillings. Reasonable price, especially if you're coming from the West. Our buses guys I mean, look look at the backlog of traffic all the way back so many buses the local dollar dollar buses that is whoa you see that right in front of me the border border roll up I gotta be careful out here Wow okay we're good Yeah, this must be one of the liveliest places I've been in at night, in Mbagala, very lively. Wow, that's Saida Karoli, Mapenzi Kizungu Zungu, that's a famous song in Tanzania. Karali Pumpa, she's from Bokoba, northwestern Tanzania.
Yeah, Seda Caroli, that song you just had there, she really was known for promoting the real cultural side in her music here in Tanzania. Her name is Seda Caroli. Definitely check her out on YouTube. You might understand the language of what she's saying, but the vibe of the music, the rhythm, the flavor, the dress code. She got a lovely voice. Really lovely culture here in Tanzania, guys. Bar saying this must be one of the most liveliest places in terms of shopping areas I've been at night here in Tanzania, man. This, this place is swinging. And I like the people's sense of business out here. They're really making nothing. They're really making something for themselves here. These are oranges. Machungwa in Kiswahili. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. I do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode. We have explored Imbagala. You got a real vibe of the place. And like I said, if you're going to southern Tanzania, then this is the part in Dar es Salaam you need to come and get your bus from to head and explore southern Tanzania. I appreciate your time and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel. If you're new here, do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for your custom. Karibuni Tanzania. Kwahereni.